someone who can tell us about his experiences. Ooh, I wonder who we're going to meet today. Do you think it'll be another king? That would be four in a row. I guess we'll find out. Boys and girls, are you ready to say the magic words with us and meet our new guest? Yeah. Okay, come on, Zada. Yeah, in our place. Oh, 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 the pain. Oh, the suffering. Oh. You think oh. you are suffering? My arm, I think it's broken. Wait. Oh. Yep, yeah, that's, that's kind of broken. Uh, can you move it? Well, let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's not broken after all. Yeah, thanks, that's, that's really good. Sorry. Oh. Zach checks his ankle and decides that. Well, it's just a spring. It's a real painful spring. But I'm kind of more worried about getting a black eye from that broken arm of yours. Sorry, Zadok. I sure hope you'll be okay. The two of them continue to get into place to activate the time machine. Okay, guys. This time, do it with us. Ready, steady, spaghetti. Okay, here we go. Ready, steady, spaghetti! I am your humble servant, Job of Uz. 
Oz? Oz? Like, Oz? Did he say Oz? Like the Wizard of Oz? Is he a Wizard of Oz? No! He's a wizard! Silly! He said Oz, not Oz. This guy's a real Old Testament person. Oh. I'm sorry, but I don't recognize either of you, and I don't recognize even where I am. You are in Jerusalem of the first century. I am the narrator. And you'll, you'll never see him. This is Zadok and Tamar. Hello. And out there are all these boys and girls who have traveled here to be with us for PBS this Today we are talking about suffering, sacrifice, and sorrow. But it's sorrow that will turn to joy. The time machine brought you here to help us understand more about it. Oh, I, I see. Yes, I, I do know a bit about suffering and sacrifice and sorrow. God has allowed me to go through some very hard times. And overall, I say glory to God. He brings blessings and he allows hard times too. For his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, please, sir, let me get you a seat. Oh, thank you. Get comfortable. Tamar, thank you. Uh, can I bring you anything? Some, some dried uh, figs? Maybe some fresh olives from the garden of Gethsemane? Oh, put out some pomegranates, or um, maybe just some water? Yeah, maybe just some water. That would be good. Thank you, Tamar. Uh, thank you.
you just sit there and share the pain with them. What happened then? Well, to, to make a long story short, I, I finally had a talk with God. And I understood that, that we are his creation, and he can do as he pleases. And thankfully, he pleases to give us an abundant life. And he ended up bringing me through the hard times, and Satan was silenced. Yeah! Then, the good part was, I was doubly blessed. God gave me twice as many children and twice as many animals as before. And now, I have great peace in my life knowing that I lived a life that's pleasing to God. And no more itching. Uh, right, no more itching. Tamar and Zadok began to understand that God forges his people to make them stronger and able to overcome the accuser. Joy comes after that. Job was a very good example. I really enjoyed my time together with you, Zadok and Tamar. But what's happening? It looks like it's time for you to go back already. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Job. It's been a real honor to meet you, Job. Yes, enjoyed my time with you guys. Bye. Someone's super excited coming to see you. See you next time.